Got an old aircraft? I'd like to make it newer? This could be it. It's Garmin's latest unit, the twin screen G600 flight display. It replaces the traditional six pack of instruments in a range of old aircraft. The G600 is a single unit with two six and a half inch displays. The left hand screen is a primary flight display with attitude indicator, tape showing air and vertical speed, and a digital readout of altitude. The right hand display shows a moving map during flight and can also show VFR and IFR charts, traffic and terrain. Finding your way around is simple. Use the vertical buttons on the left hand side to select the functions you want to change. For example, heading. Press the button to select and twist the knob to move the heading bug to the desired setting. The G600 can be fitted using an STC, that's a supplementary type certificate, developed by Lee's Avionics. They have fitted the unit to a Piper Archer owned by Harry Lee's, who's boss of the company. It's quite a hefty installation process and the G600 display is just the tip of the iceberg. Part of the cabin has to be dismantled to install the heading and reference system and air data computer boxes in the back. The aircraft also has an STEC autopilot and an Avidyne traffic collision awareness system to bring this old bird bang up to date. What Lee's have done here is really interesting. They've installed the panel on a brand new panel, they've cut it out themselves and they've put the primary flight display side of the G600 right in front of the pilot, right in front of the control yoke, where it's at its most useful. And they've put the primary flight instruments, the standby instruments, around in a neat fashion. The only thing is the, oh, right over there in the corner is the airspin indicator, which they intend to bring a bit closer into the middle. Much easier to see. But well, this is the installation. Let's see how it flies. The G600 takes its GPS and nav feed from separate boxes, such as Garmin's 430 or 530. The Lee's demo aircraft has both, and the G600 MFD mirrors the various messages from the Navcom units. Our sortie was local, however you can import a flight plan from the 430 to the MFD and see it displayed on the map. Flying with the G600 is easy. The two screens boast pin-sharp clarity, even in bright sunlight conditions. The whole system is simple to navigate, leaving you time to concentrate on the flying. Hand flying is also very straightforward with the flight director bars on the attitude indicator. The vertical tapes for airspeed and vertical speed are clear and have trend indicators to give a six second prediction. A year after the G600 was first announced, Garmin also launched G500. For a typical light aircraft it is virtually identical to the G600 but a little less expensive. Lee's Avionics is adapting the STC to include this. All in all, this kind of glass cockpit really improves your situational awareness. Thanks, Harry. Well, it's brilliant to see the G600 in action. It's a brilliant piece of kit. If you're thinking of upgrading your panel, it's definitely worth a look.